guys, welcome back to the channel. I am here with my angry, grumpy griffin angel. Smash a like if you guys agree. She's the cutest dog you guys have ever laid your eyes on. And guys, comment down below. Should she be an animatronic? That'd be scary. Can't imagine my dog's face on an animatronic. Also, guys, if not, hit that subscribe button to join the family, guys. And um, we're just gonna get started with reacting to some more scary animatronics that you guys might not believe exist, right, Angel? She's excited. Okay, guys. What is this first video? Avocados? That's horrifying. Why are they singing me a song? The eyelashes in that thing. What the heck? A giant dancing banana? That's Angel's worst nightmare. What is this? Pirates of the Caribbean? So this is like a grocery store with animatronics all throughout it then. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. This is the most random and chaotic grocery store I've seen in my entire life. I'd be dancing through it too. It's kind of weird. There's animatronics literally everywhere. Even the dog food section? Angel, that's for you. No way. <laughs> the avocado song is way too funny. Wait, what? Why is Mickey or Minnie doing a flip? Okay, so I need to go to this grocery store someday, obviously. Like, there's just so much chaotic stuff going on, guys. Comment down below if you guys have ever been there. I want to go there someday. Okay, next clip. What is this? This guy has a whole animatronic. What? Yes, for he knows about TikTok. I'd be scared too. I mean, I mean, He's swearing. No, no way. The way that thing moves is so creepy. Oh, he's mad, mad. <laughs> I look a little thin. Oh. Other than that, I do not concur the judgment. Well, you have <laughs> wow, he loves you. us. Okay, so this is from the same creator that we just watched before. It's called The King. His TikTok is really cool if you guys want to check it out. He has basically a whole bunch of animatronics in his house and he does skits with them. So here's another one of his videos. Be scared to turn your back. Be scared to turn your back. What? Well, I'm gonna turn my back on King. What's gonna happen then, if he turns uh, around? Oh! He just got bit by Get the off. animatronic. Let go. That's scary. Let go. Is he gonna let, let go, go of him? This isn't a toy, that's my hand. Oh man, let go. that's creepy, not gonna lie. Go. Jeez. Dude, they don't even care. The dog is like, what's going on? <laughs> Okay, so this next one is yet again another one of his TikToks. Um, you okay, Jer? Let's see what happens here. What the? He's getting strangled by that animatronic. That thing is huge. Look how much taller the animatronic is than literally him. That thing is like probably over six feet tall. I'm just guessing and throwing it out there. The way it moves is kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. Is he gonna even leave or is he just gonna keep standing there with the animatronic? Ayo! I have no idea how to feel about that thing, but that is like a large, very tall animatronic. Okay, and last but not least, one more clip from the same guy with his crazy animatronics. Alright, we gotta take these out. Oh man. We need to take these He's talking out back to him! So I can get the rest of Why does he have off? shots in his arm? <laughs> Oh! Well, let's see. You're pulling needles out of my arm. What do you How does he want to just do, do these that videos? TikTok and my ears. Okay, no. look, here. Just, just bite on this. Bite Ooh, on this. Chicken bite. bone. Chicken bone. Oh, oh. Wow, he made that animatronic very mad. It's weird. I don't know how he's programming this animatronic to do like skits. That's what's impressive about it. And I don't know if it's like his own design. I'm kind of thinking it is his own custom one. If it isn't, I don't know much about it, but this is really fascinating to me. Pretty cool though, not gonna lie. All right guys, here is some left behind animatronics. Ooh, is that Billy Bob? What's in his arm? That must be just like the decay of his like animatronic being sitting out too long. <laughs> Whoa! That monkey's face is so creepy. They look like they've been sitting there forever, guys. That's spooky. I wonder why they just sat there forever. Okay, so this next clip apparently is from a place called Country Junction. I have no idea where this is, but they have scary and weird animatronics literally everywhere in this place. So there's an octopus with a guitar. There's a talking tree! Ayo! I need to go to Country Junction someday. I guess that's where it's at. There's whatever that guy is. There's a scarecrow. That's kind of cursed looking. Why is it Wizard of Oz? 
I don't wonder what this place is. If it's like an amusement center, there's a random witch. Maybe those are from Wizard of Oz, because I'm feeling like those two connect. Yeah, that is Wizard of Oz. I figured it was. That just gave it away. Another Wizard of Oz. What is Country Junction? If you guys know, comment down below, because I have not seen it till literally today. I didn't know these animatronics or this place even existed, but they're really creepy in a weird, unsettling way, especially that one. The Steel Man is creepy. These are just a bunch of weird Wizard of Oz, like, animatronics that are just at this random place for some reason. I don't know why. Zoltar. Zoltars always have scared me a little bit. I don't know what it is. Now they got dinosaurs? Yo, what do they not have at this country junction place? They have everything. <laughs> They're petting the dino casually. Same. He looks so happy. That was really random. Okay, talking about cursed trees. I found another one. I have no idea what this is, but we're gonna watch it. Why he moving like that? What the? That's so creepy. I hate how the eyes move on that thing. I think it's like a Halloween decoration. I'm assuming. Maybe it's not, but it reminds me of Tracy the Tree from Rainforest Cafe. Creepy abandoned animatronics. Okay, let's take a look. John Wayne animatronic from Western Village. Oh, he's completely just destructed. Who let this man sit out in the rain? Tex Critters animatronics? That one's kind of cute in a weird way. Whoa, that's a downgrade. All right, he's been there, done that. <laughs> that was creepy. Scariest underwater animatronics. <laughs> is that an animatronic? I want to look like Dracula. Lake Placid Crocodile. Why does it look real? Jeez, that's a big crocodile. The, the whale from Moby Dick? Oh my gosh, that thing's huge. He looks so creepy. Ooh, some mechanophobia is kicking in. That's all I'm gonna say. This one is really creepy to me. I don't know if this is exactly animatronic, but just wait. The whole face! Look at that face, it's so creepy. I hate it so much. It looks like a literal demon, guys. Ew, I would not want to see that at 3 a.m. Just started a new job as a nighttime security guard. Oh, it's not gonna go well. Whoa, look at that snowman. So that place has a bunch of weird broken animatronics and they have to watch them overnight as a security guard? Jeez, they're in for it. Why are there a bunch of weird Christmas animatronics at this person's night shift? They're gonna come to life and eat them! Abandoned animatronics before and after. Okay, okay. Charlie Chim. Oh, yeah, he's cursed. I've seen that one before for sure. I don't like his after. He looks creepy. Ellie Elephant. She's kind of cute, actually. I kind of like her. Her after though, I don't know so much. That after was kind of scary. Animatronics before and after. Oh, we're getting some more. Sheep from Babe? Is that from a movie? Ooh, it looks completely cursed without the fur on it. It does not look right. Barney the bear? Who is that? Oh, that might be one of the biggest downgrades I've ever seen before. I wonder what Barney the Bear is from. Let me know if you guys know. Comment down below. And in animatronics before and after. This is gonna be spicy. There's a trigger warning. I hope I don't get triggered. Let's take a look. All right. Animatronics can go through a lot when they age. Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, that's my favorite one. That's my fa- Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 slow down. It's getting worse progressively. Can it get worse than that? Mitzi Mozzarella. That's a weird name. It looks like the girl version of Chuck E. Cheese. Oh my gosh, why do her arms look like that? Okay, that's horrifying. This right here, that's actually so creepy. And it definitely does look like the girl version of Chuck E. Cheese, even though it's not. It's Mitzi Mozzarella, but that's the wear and tear that animatronics go through. That's super creepy, okay? That is horrifying. We found these creepy abandoned animatronics in the middle of the night. Where were they walking around in a in pizzeria, the real life FNAF, I need to know. We found these creepy abandoned animatronics in the middle of the night. Why does it look like Miss Piggy as an animatronic? 
They're so scary. Whoa. Oh, that looks like the big bad wolf. Monkey, ew. I wonder what this is. I've never seen animatronics like these ones ever before. If you guys know what these are from, comment down below in the comments. Scary animatronics you won't believe are real. Oh no. I want to know what these ones are. There are some very scary ones. Pennywise? What? He's an animatronic? Oh my gosh. That is so cool, actually. It is scary. It's probably like a Halloween decoration, but like, look at the detail. Reagan McNeil? That looks really, really creepy. Oh, whoa. That looks like something you'd see at like Spirit Halloween no, you guys know what I'm talking about. I feel like I've seen that one before. The scariest underwater animatronics. Honestly, though, what's the word for that? It's like a uh, sub something. It's like a fear of like stuff under the water, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Warning, if you guys have that, you might want to click away. But this looks like it's going to be spooky, okay? Stuff under the ocean is pretty creepy. Jaws. <gasps> oh, wait, I feel like I've seen this one before. I have seen this one before. They have this one at Universal. That is actually such a cool animatronic. They did use an actual like mechanical shark for the real Jaws movie. Just letting you guys know that's how they filmed it. Bertha the Panyip. What? <laughs> Why does it look like a goblin that lives under the ocean? Why does it look like a booger monster? That's kind of ugly looking. How is it? Oh, it just moves up and down like that. It just bops around. It's kind of scary, but like it doesn't scare me that much, you know? But yeah, that was spooky. The scariest animatronics in horror movies. Why does this guy look like that? And all of them, he's just standing there. He has like black eyes. Anyways, moving along. I want to see. They do use um animatronics in horror movies a lot just for certain scenes. Chucky from Child's Play. Oh, that was an animatronic? Whoa, the way that it moves. Oh my goodness. Okay, that is so creepy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna go back just a second there. Look at the face. And there was teeth, I think, in this one. That is what horrifies me. The way it looks without the skin mesh. I'm good. No, thank you. The teeth and mouth look way too realistically creepy. I hate everything about it. That it gives me the spooks. Brundle the fly. Oh, whoa. That doesn't even look like an animatronic. That just looks like an animated thing. Oh, the way it moves though. It's so creepy, but that looks so like realistic. I didn't even know that was an animatronic. The scariest underwater animatronics? Submechanophobia. That's the phobia that I was trying to explain to you guys. Submechana- I can't say it. It's such a big word. Submechanophobia? I think I said it that time. I don't know. Anyways, moving along. I want to see. Mildred the Crocklebog. <laughs> how do you say that word? Crocklebog? Why is he kind of cute in a weird unsettling way? I don't know how to feel about this crocodile animatronic. The sea monster Gardaland. That one looks creepy. That one looks spooky. Why does he have a beard and everything? Oh my gosh. It's like a sea monster that has a head of a man on it. That is so weird and spooky. I hate it, but it's also kind of cool at the same time. I don't really know how to explain it. Abandoned animatronics before and after. Trigger warning. All right. I want to see how spooky these ones are before and after. Billy Bob. I love my man, Billy Bob. Okay. Oh, Okay, Billy Bob lost all of his facial features. Um, where did his mouth go? <laughs> Yo, that is so creepy how he looks without his face. I hate it. Bert the Bunyip. Wasn't that the one we just saw? Wait, whoa. Oh, the before and after though. Okay, he looks cursed now. He looks actually demonic now. Oh my, whoa, whoa. Okay, that one got a lot more cursed than I could have imagined it could have been. Animatronics then versus now. All right, let's see what they have this time. Oh, Stitch. Oh, Stitch. Just so cute though. Oh, never mind. Not anymore. Not anymore. Oh gosh, he looks cursed without his fur. Is this like Godzilla? I'm pretty sure it is. Oh! <laughs> what is this? Okay, this might be the most cursed animatronic in the whole video so far. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, that thing, it looks kind of, it's kind of thick though. I mean, but like seriously, it's cursed and uh, without the skin, couldn't even know it was the same animatronic to be honest. The scariest underwater animatronics. Why are there so many under the ocean, under the water animatronics? That's my question. There's literally so many of them. Moby, the whale. Oh my goodness. Whoa, it looks so realistic though. That's crazy. See my monster. Okay, that one we saw a little bit ago. People are scared of that one. It is a little unsettling now that I'm looking at it from this view, the way it vomits all the water out of it. Yeah, it kind of scares me. Oh my gosh, more? More scary underwater animatronics? I thought we've had plenty of giant squid. What? That's an animatronic. It looks real. That looks real. That is, how is that real or not 
real? How is it not real? That's my question. Um, Simobunga di- I can't even say that word. I can't say that word, but it looks like a real dinosaur looking thing. That's kind of cool. I like that one, but the first one was too realistic for me, okay? Well, the second one was chill. It looks like a dinosaur. Oh my goodness, what is this? If you're a fan of creepy animatronics- I sure am! Creative engineering in Orlando, Florida. Ooh. Started by Aaron Fetcher back in the 80s. Their animatronics inspired both Chuck E. Cheese- No and way. Nights at Freddy's. Since creative engineering went bankrupt, the since abandoned animatronics have begun to rot and decay- What?! That's so sad. Oh! It's so creepy. and occasionally produces products for kids. The warehouse sits as a terrifying reminder that in the 80s Jeez. future in child entertainment despite not really being made to last. That's so insane. Ooh, I want to get a tour for Mr. Fetcher. Okay, now that I'm seeing this, you know, I want to go to Orlando and I want to check out all these spooky animatronics. I was just there. How did I not know this existed? I would have went to this spooky animatronic warehouse. Whoa. Melting moose. They're so creepy. Oh, I hate Uncle Clunk. That nose was scary, okay? I don't know what it is about monkeys, but they just freak me out a little bit. But that is a lot of old scary animatronics. That's crazy. They were melting. That's kind of sad, but also spooky. I hate my job working as a nighttime security guard. What is this FNAF at Christmas? I am fearful for what's to come. What? That's snowman. It's an animatronic snowman. What? Oh my gosh. So basically she's saying all the animatronics that she works with are malfunctioning and even the yetis and they smell bad. She can't even be around them for long. Something is seriously wrong. I could feel it. That's so creepy. Why do the animatronics look like this though? They actually are scary, okay? I know they're supposed to be cute little Christmas ones, but this is suspicious. Suspicious. Animatronics before and after. Whoa. Oh! What the heck? They have a complete glow down. Oh gosh. That one looks actually cursed, guys. I don't understand how they end up going from one thing to another thing. Like, how do they all go out of shape? But then again, if you think about it, someday every single animatronic will have its expiration date. Even the Chuck E. Cheese ones, which is kind of weird to think about. Scariest underwater animatronics. It's this guy again from the last video. These better be spooky, okay? I'm ready to see some scary animatronics. All right, let's take a look. What do they got this time? Billabong Bunyip. That sounds familiar. Whoa! Okay, that looks cursed. Why does its teeth look like that? Why does it look kind of like realistic too? Okay, it looks like a water dragon. Jaws! I talked about this one in the last video. I kind of like Jaws though. I don't find him that scary. Oh, he's kind of cute. I think it's cute, okay? I like Jaws. Wait, that was Jaws at the very end. Let me go back there. Why does he look so different in this scene right here, okay? He looks decayed and old and yeah, okay, that is a little spooky. The scariest underwater animatronics. What does this guy think is the scariest ones? Loch Ness Monster. Loch Ness Monster seems pretty cute. Wait, is that it right there? Behind the boat? That's an animatronic? Did they use that for like the film or something? King Kong. Is that a ride? I wonder where that ride is. That's cool looking. Whoa, that animatronic is huge. Okay, why is that one actually really cool? I like how his eyes like change colors. It's like cool, but like kind of freaky at the same time. I don't know. I kind of vibe with that. What is this one? Oh, I think this is another like Jaws like kind of thing or shark. A shark animatronic. I don't know if it's specifically Jaws. Maybe it is. I think it is because they used, like I said, an animatronic to film Jaws. That looks creepy. Yeah, they used, you know, animatronics to film the movie Jaws. And um, now that I'm looking at it, they look a little bit too realistic to, um, you know, whoa. Whoa, that looks so real. Yeah, they literally look like a real shark. Okay, that would freak me out. If I saw that in the ocean, I would freak out. That literally looks like a real shark. Okay, that is spooky. Underwater animatronics and statues before and after some mechanophobia warning all right whoa that one is pretty sick though it's kind of creepy though oh okay okay that is creepy it looks like some kind of underwater dragon i wonder where that is at hippopotamus is that from jungle cruise pretty sure it is oh 
Oh, okay, that's creepy. It looks so cursed right there. I don't like seeing it without the water, and I didn't realize it's like half a body like that. It's just kind of like floating there. I would have never known, because on the Jungle Cruise, like they just have them like pop out, you know, off the top of the edge of the water. <laughs> the scariest underwater animatronics. It's this guy again with the scary eyes. Crocodile in the woods. Oh, I've seen this one. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Keep him in the cage where he belongs. What's even weirder is I think this one or another one, like it's like kind of like you pay for it to pop out. It's at some weird theme park. Loch Ness Monster. Is that the same one from the other movie? It looks so realistic. It looks so real. Like if I saw that, I would truly believe it was the real Loch Ness Monster, okay? Like it looks like a real one, okay? Oh, what the heck is that? <laughs> it looks kind of derpy to be honest. It kind of looks like, I don't want to like be mean to my dog, but it kind of looks like my dog when she sees like a piece of cheese. She gets like that. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the- <laughs> The scariest underwater animatronics. I love how everyone's like pointing up to the text like this. They're like the scariest, but also me. Monstro the whale. This is at Disneyland, okay? I haven't even been on this ride, I don't think. Or maybe I did when I was like five. It's a little kid's ride. It can't be that scary. I've never been on this one in like years. Monstro the whale. It's such an old ride. Wait, what? Is that the eye from the whale or is this a different ride? Is that the real like eye from that ride? It is. That's creepy. Okay, I actually don't like this giant eyeball. I think that's the same ride, y'all. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's actually a little bit horrifying, okay? Oh my goodness, it's this guy. He just owns this category of TikTok, y'all. Abandoned animatronics. Joko's Mardi Gras Madness? That's cre- Oh my gosh, the after is horrifying! Why does he look like that? Uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea Submarine Voyage. What is this? That is so horrifying! Oh my gosh, look at the face and the tongue. Nothing has been through it, you know? He's been there, done that. Oh my gosh, his head is gone. <laughs> his head is gone. Where did it go? That was spooky. Underwater animatronics. You gotta do the point. <laughs> is that the same one? That one looks so derpy. Where is that? Oh my gosh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Maybe I do have a little bit of submechanophobia, because like that one gives it to me. That's a shark, right? Orange shark. It's kind of cool. Never mind, it's not cool no more! Ew! It looks so, like, rusted and old right there. All right, this one is unsettling. Um, show me more. Well, their first one was... It's the same one! Okay, that one is creepy. That's creepy. Is that a real shark? No, it's a fake one. That looks so realistic, though. Oh, is this Jurassic World? That has to be the Jurassic World ride. That's one of my favorite rides. I love that ride. That dragon. That is spooky, okay? That one... Wouldn't want to be there alone at night. <laughs> that one's really creepy. Point... Abandoned animatronics. Bert the Bunyip! I saw this in the last video. Ah! Okay, this one I think might be the most cursed underwater animatronic. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. Do you guys agree? Bert the Bunyip, I think he's winning right now. Oh my gosh, he's so cursed. I don't like Bert. Disney Sea Serpent. Is that a Disney one? That one we were just talking about? That is a Disney one. No way. I wonder which Disney ride that is because I've never been on it before and I don't know if I want to go on it after seeing that. Horrifying underwater animatronics. Wait, they didn't point. Moby the whale. I think I've seen this one. Yeah, I talked about this in the last video. It looks so realistic. I actually thought that was a real whale the first time I saw that. Oh, and this one, Corsai the sea monster. Of course, sorry. I don't know how to say that. He's vomiting the water. <laughs> ah, look at his mouth and his teeth, okay? Yeah, that thing is creepy. It's cursed. The scariest, he's pointing again. The shark. I love how it's just called the shark instead of Jaws. Which ride is this? I wonder what it's from. Oh, look at those teeth. He's like vomiting water. Kaimbo Sunda Light. I can't say that word, but that looks like some kind of prehistoric fish of some sort. It's kind of scary, honestly. Oh, okay. I don't like that one. That one is spooky. That one is creepy, creepy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just love these. I love that there's a whole series for this. The Haunting of Bly Manor. What is that? Is that for like a Netflix premiere? That is so creepy. It looks real. Hippopotamus! Is it the same one from Jungle Cruise? I think it is. Oh, okay. Actually though, it is a little unsettling because it's so realistic and the way it just like bops there, it's kind of freaky in a weird way that I can't explain. The way it's like submerges down back into the water too is a little unsettling. Abandoned underwater animatronics. Ooh, okay. Oh, I remember this one. That one's spooky. Okay. Oh, that literally looks like a real, like, underwater dinosaur, all right? I would be convinced it was real if I saw that in the wilderness. Ew, I hate that one so much. 
It's that whale again. That one is making its way around town for top scary Disney ones. The scariest underwater animatronics. Mildred the Cracklebog. He looks like a hedgehog sort of alligator. <laughs> I don't like how he swims. I really, really don't. If that was following me, I'd be so scared. Gardaland. That's where this one's at, guys. Gardaland. I don't like his facial expression. It's so angry looking. Why does it look like that and move like that? Ew. Ooh, I don't like it. Abandoned underwater animatronics then versus now. This sea serpent. Wait, do the eyes actually move like that? I didn't see that in the previous clips. It looks so derpy. I hate it. Oh my gosh, the now is horrifying. Yeah, that one is creepy. They must have got rid of that ride. <laughs> Bird the Bunyip is actually cursed now. What the actual heck? There's no way. He's so creepy. That is horrifying. Okay, Bird the Bunyip might be the scariest, y'all. Okay, guys. Guys, so this one, is this the same Disney one again? It has to be. No way. No way. Why does it move like that? Why does it have a beaver tooth in the front? That is, nope, 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 nope. Don't like it. Don't like it. Don't want to be locked in a room with this thing, especially underwater. Oh my gosh, this sea serpent is everywhere. I just hate the eyes on it so much, okay? Like, everyone keeps bringing this one up. I think it could be one of the most creepiest ones. And the fact that it came from Disney, like, why does it look like that? I hate it so much. They're actually so spooky. So guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to smash the like and hit the subscribe button to join the family today. And also guys, comment down below what do you guys think was the scariest underwater animatronic in today's video? Honestly guys, there was a lot of scary ones, but that Disney one, it kind of freaked me out. And also guys, if you guys have not followed my social medias, I'll have them linked down below. Check out my Instagram, be sure to follow my Instagram guys. I've been posting a lot on there behind the scenes and all sorts of stuff. And I always engage with you guys on there. So be sure to check it out. It's down below also my twitter and all my other socials like my tiktok and also guys here's today's daily shout out winners thank you guys so much for commenting on my videos and if you guys want to win a shout out in the next video just leave a nice comment down below for a chance to win a shout out in the next video anyways guys that's gonna do it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys